Good morning, family. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing a greenhouse check this morning. And just want to show you my new addition. This is a, a tropical plant I got from Lowe's. It was in the clearance bin. They had some that were like $35. And I looked up and found one on the clearance uh, rack. And then I just put these together. I just... Uh, they had these uh, little cells for like $1.98 each. And so I just clumped everything together for the patio. And over here, these are going to be flowers. I'm going to get rid of, finally get rid of my little terracotta plant. I mean, a pot. I don't have anything in there that's it's falling apart. But I just put flowers in these yesterday. There's some bulbs in the big one and there are just some seeds. So we'll see how that comes along. And then I'm just playing around just to have something on my table. And uh, just some marigolds right there. And here's some more potting mix we got from Sam's Club the other day. miracle Grow does do well. My plants do well in, in miracle Grow. Okay, here are the cabbage. So this pot here is not doing as well as this one's perfect. This one's miracle grow right here. And then I have my Dollar Tree uh, stackable planters. I just placed, I wanted to see how it looked in here. And so I just placed plants in there just for weight, just to weigh it down until I can uh, decide what I want to do with it. Same thing over here. And it's been almost two weeks since I gave you guys an update. So, you see my collards are growing up. They're growing up. Here are some new, uh, these are peppers. Pepper plants. I'm going to harvest some of this lettuce today. And hubby's uh, strawberries, they're perking up. Yeah, I gave them that rainwater and put them in here and they're perking up. Here's my little junky station right here. Make sure I have everything I need when I come out here. So I'm gonna clean that up. I got, so I've got a little trash bin out here. Just a little Dollar Tree. Okay, here are my cucumbers. They're perking up. They were looking a little sad. They're perking up. Here are my tomatoes. They got some marigolds in here as well. Let's see how this little trellis does. You know, it'll do a little something. It'll do a little, little, little something, something. Okay, so let me check the temperature. It was like 80 degrees yesterday, so now in here is just 65. Now my lettuces thrive when it's like 65. All right, let me get my little bucket. So I can harvest some of these, uh, some of this romaine. And I get one of these buckets. Just from Dollar Tree. And then I harvest, I... Grab it from the outer leaves. Just pluck. Get the larger ones. It's a little baby little one there. I won't take it. See right here? Just pluck it off. It's ready. I'm going to go through each one.
got a nice little salad today. That. And then I'm going to get rid of if there's any spent leaves. So these are spent. I won't use these. Okay guys, so this is the romaine that I harvested so far. That'll make a nice salad for us today. But my tomatoes aren't ready, so I went to Sam's and got some tomatoes and cucumbers. And let me show you once again how I harvest my romaine. And I go through there and I get on the outer. You see the, the entire plant right here? This is one plant I've already harvested from here. But you go to the outer leaves. If it's a little leaf, I leave it alone. If it's a big, a taller leaf like this one, take it from the outside. And just pinch off the leaf. Go all the way around. If, there, if it's little, leave the little ones. Just on the outside. So this is like the cut and come again method. You know, you cut them, pluck them, and they'll, all these inner leaves will continue to grow. And then so next week, I'll come back and I'll pinch off some more. Okay, strawberries. And I can go on and cut, uh, do some of these collards right now. They're getting big, but I'll, they're going to get a little bigger. I'm going to let them go. Let them grow. Same thing with my cabbage. Okay, so now I'm going to wash these and I'm going to let them just sit. And make sure that there's, you know, no, rinse all the bugs off. I'll show you guys just a minute. Okay, so I just turned on the garden hose. And uh, I'm just going to spray them down. Let me get them over here. I'm going to dedicate this table to uh, do my garden prep. Just spray them down. Nothing special. I got this bucket from Dollar Tree. Got this this uh, sprayer from Dollar Tree. So that's what I'm saying. If you're a beginner and you don't have a lot of money, you know, you go to Dollar Tree around March. And they have everything. They even have soil. And so this spent. And then you might get some dirt around the root area. And so we're just going to let that float, float away. If there's any little microscopic bugs or anything, they'll float to the top. So just let them, let the leaves soak. that stuff floating around that's just dirt okay fam so this is what I do I just soak my leaves this is romaine and just soak it and like that first water is always going to have a little something some little grains of dirt or gravel and then you throw that out let that soak off and then I'm soaking them in the clean water and I'm gonna just let them soak because this is going to be breakfast I'm gonna make a salad and, uh, and this is very having lettuce me growing lettuce is very important because I'm trying to beat diabetes it's trying to creep up on me and 
you know, I can eat, I go through a lot of lettuce and I can have everything else in my home. I can have all the other groceries, but I always need to go to the store just for lettuce. And then I end up buying $50 more, you know, since I'm in there. I'm like, since I'm in there, I just can't go in there just for lettuce. Then I end up going and getting other stuff, but to supplement my groceries and to be able to come out to my own garden, you know, a few times, a couple times a month, you know, that'll just, that'll save me a big time on, you know, wear and tear and, you know, just burning up gas and, uh, you know, me having to just run around just doing unnecessary stuff, so... And the, these are, are as organic as I possibly can make them. And that's why I have them in the greenhouse. So I won't have to spray them with pesticides and stuff. Now, I don't know what's in the garden mix or the, the potting mix. You know, they, they can't call it garden soil because it's a mix of other chemicals. That's what uh, my plants are growing into. You know, I'm not, not even going to front. You know, I'm not using manure. I'm not using organic stuff like that. But I don't spray with pesticides. I don't add any additional stuff. And these and uh, these greens are gr growing well. So I'm going to let them soak for a while. Get things prepped inside. And uh, we're going to make a salad. This is really a nice harvest, guys. You know, this will cost you in the store $4, and it won't be as nice and crunchy and as fresh and as clean. Okay, guys, so here is my salad. I just sliced up. I have my clean and fresh romaine from the garden. Aren't they beautiful? Here's some leftovers. I'm going to make another salad with that. Aren't they beautiful? And I have some red onions. I have chickpeas, cherry tomatoes, and English cucumber, and my homemade ranch dressing, and that's going to be breakfast. And sometimes, you know, and there's no animal proteins in this, um, no animal meat on this salad. So, this is a good way to get started. Sometimes this is all I want. And then if I want more after I eat this, which is very seldom, then, you know, I'll get some more. But this really saves me growing my own lettuces because I go through lettuce like crazy. Okay, guys, so I want to thank you so much for sharing sharing this, this harvesting video with me today. And um, I appreciate your support. And if you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. And if you like my vibe, hit subscribe. All right, and hit that bell. I don't think we have to hit the bell notification anymore. But um, I welcome you to subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, the like, and hit that bell note. It, nope, you don't have to hit the bell anymore. <laughs> and all right, and if you uh, have a comment or any suggestions or comments, you put them down in the comments section, okay? Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye, Mom.